Hello, today I'm going to talk about how I set up my own do-it-yourself Zoom room. The picture you're seeing right here is from last week. Basically, like many of us during this pandemic, we are trying to connect with family members and friends. Um, and we did a Friday night sort of virtual pizza party over Zoom. I had to just basically connect my MacBook uh, to my TV and it was okay. And I decided since we're probably going to do this more often with more and different family members, I wanted a more permanent solution. So I started to think about, okay, what would that look like? Because I looked at what is technically called a Zoom room and some of the equipment and that corporations use. It's very expensive, like two to three thousand dollars at a minimum for the hardware to set that up. So I went and started to think about it. And obviously the first thing you need is a TV, which I have. But obviously the second thing that is important is a dedicated webcam. And since many laptops already have them built in, uh, luckily I already had one and I use this Logitech C920S S HD webcam. It's only about 70 bucks. It's actually a really good quality webcam with a mic built in microphone. So I, I figured obviously I'll just try that out and see if it works well. The third and probably the most important thing in this setup is having some sort of mini computer. Uh, you will need something uh, to run the software and the camera and everything like that that can connect to the internet. And so I did some research and I, on Amazon and I found this Ace PC AK1 mini PC for 220 bucks basically. It's got a uh, quad processor, Celeron Apollo Lake, latest uh, Apollo Lake processor. And um, it's got six gig of RAM, 120 gigabyte of MSATA SSD hard drive space. And importantly enough, it did have a little bit better graphics processor, um, the, the HD graphics 500 that's built in, which is pretty good. And lastly, it did already have uh, Windows 10 Pro. And the Pro is important because uh, if I wanna be able to remote desktop into this machine, uh, you'll need Windows 10 Pro. You also need an input device, a keyboard, mouse, and so I went with this uh, Logitech K400 Plus. It's only like 25 bucks on Amazon right now. It's actually a really great keyboard with a built-in trackpad. It's very lightweight, uh, so it's really easy to use. The last piece of hardware is not required, but I have a Harmony remote in my, um, in my home theater setup, and so I was able to create uh, if you will, an activity for what I call Zoom Room. And so this way, when I tap that activity, it'll start everything up and get things going. Um, we can immediately start using the uh, computer. So this is the setup. Uh, I'll put links to all the products that I feature here uh, to Amazon for those that are really interested in maybe setting this up themselves. But uh, the next portion of this video, we'll do a little bit of a demonstration now that I've got everything set up and just kind of make sure it all works and stay tuned. Okay, I've got everything set up. First, uh, I'll introduce you to Blackjack. He's hanging out with us. Uh, there's the TV and down here, um, you'll actually see uh, the keyboard. Right now, I just have the camera sort of here. I am looking to mount it more permanently somewhere else, but it'll work fine for now for testing purposes. And then down here, it's a little hard to see. Uh, I'm gonna come into the, the actual cabinet here. This is the uh, mini PC we talked about uh, earlier. And um, it's quite quiet. I mean, with the doors closed, you won't even hear a thing. I don't need it to be open, but I'm leaving it open just so you can see, but it, it is quite small. Um, and so let's uh, go ahead and crank things up. Okay, I'm sort of just sitting down now and I've got my Harmony remote. And as you can see, I've created a, um, an activity for my Zoom room. So if I just click that, it's going to attempt to turn on the TV. It's going to turn on um, pretty much everything it needs and set it to the right input. And so we'll see if it actually does that. And boom, there we go. And as you can see, I've got my keyboard here. So I can leverage the keyboard to move the mouse. And at least what I'll do right now is just launch uh, the actual Zoom interface, just so you can see it's a functioning computer. I've got Zoom installed and we're ready to go. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and fire up a test meeting. Um, I'm just going to click new meeting. Uh, as you can see, I'm recording. The camera is started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and join because I already tested the microphone and the video. Uh, so it is pulling audio, or at least the mic, uh, from the webcam itself. That's my microphone. And then um, the actual camera, as you know, is, is sort of mounted low. I am actually looking to maybe mount it on top of the TV. I'll need an extension cord to do that, um, a USB extension to actually route it up to the air, so it might look a little bit better. For, for now, uh, it is at least covering the couch, the chair. I can kind of move it around. Uh, so when we're actually doing the Zoom with uh, family and friends, uh, you'll be able to kind of see the entire uh, living room for the most part, including blackjack down here. So anyway, uh, successful test. I think for the second part of this video, we'll try to do a stress test and uh, attempt to actually get uh, a large amount of uh, people on a Zoom and see how it can handle the load and see how that works with a uh, large group. So there you go.